Greetings and salutations. What's going on? It's your boy D. Boom, man. Fresh off work. Just really got a chance to sit down. Um, it's been a crazy day. At least outside of this. But um, I don't know. Been looking at the videos on the train. You know what I mean? On the CTA, you know, uh, red line all day. To and from work. And uh, just was compelled to say a few things real quick. So, uh, in the divine karmic video i spoke about him being in a self-imposed prison i think it was like the last car maybe um clarifying that um just gonna shed more light on that as far as this you know this prison this him going to and back and forth into these type of situations i'm gonna stress on that real quick little rant and then i want to give a rant on um into a flame separation phase where I just said that um he your divine masculine um he could be a she she could be a he you know how we rock that he kind of made you divine you know what I mean initially and then I'm you know I'm gonna clarify what I said on that so going to uh I agree some food still on anyway <clears throat> as far as the self opposed prison you got to take this in consideration. This is not only for the divine masculine, but this is just for the unaware. You know, the ones that's still in the matrix who haven't freed themselves. Like, I, I use the matrix reference a lot because to me, it's the most ingenious way of looking at this twin flame situation. It's the most ingenious way of looking at anything, life in general. Like, all in all, you got to understand the programming. That we as human beings go through every day. But scratch human beings out the whole situation. Your divine masculine. You know what I'm saying? Or your divine feminine. Whoever's the most non-awakened at this point. You both are awake. But who, whoever's the most advanced at this point. You know. To me, you're the feminine. You know what I mean? You're embodying the feminine energy. Which is everything that the divine feminine embodies in these videos that I be talking about. <clears throat> and... You gotta understand what your masculine is like. You know, this is why I don't believe. This is why, I like, I, I I grew up in church. You know what I mean? If you ask me what my religion is, I would my react like when I my answer would be like religion is division. You know what I'm saying? But I'm Christian by default. That's my foundation. That's what I was brought into. When I have kids, they will get exposed to the same foundation I got exposed to. Church of God in Christ, to be specific. I mean, I'm not with everything that, that the religion is about, but at the same time, it was my foundation. And that's something that my mother instilled in me, and that's something I'm going to instill in my children. That's just something I can't knock. It's who I am. Like, if I was born a Muslim, I'll be a Muslim. If I was born a Buddhist, I'll be a Buddhist. I was born a Christian, I'm going to be a Christian. But, okay, I mess with, I, 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 I mess with church. With 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 like a, a five foot pole, you feel what I'm saying? Like I'm not. I grew up in church, y'all. I went to church five days a week. I'm saying YPWW Bible study. You know what I'm saying? Two Bible studies a week. You feel me? Choir rehearsals. You know what I mean? Two church services. You ain't talking about going across the roads doing Bible bowls and church. You know what I mean? Church Olympics. You know what I'm saying? That's how I. That's why I am who I am. I've been preaching since six years old. Did my first sermon in church at six years old. You know what I'm saying? So, when I'm saying about what I'm going to say about this, please don't get offended. Especially those who know me and <laughs> know my family, know my grandmother, know who I am. Those who really know who I am. Please don't say your boy going left field because he got this channel and shit. But I'm just really speaking the real. Programming. This is this is the this is the programming your divine masculine goes through weekly. Okay, let's just say this from, let's see, Monday to Saturday, you probably kicking game to him, dropping knowledge, dropping jewels, you know what I mean? Really putting him on to this whole journey that you guys share, you know, that he's aware of, but fighting the feelings of and all that, denying and all that, right? You spit all this divine, infinite knowledge interstellar love you're giving them unconditional love at all times like nothing but goodness okay 
nothing but goodness. And then he's like, probably, you start probably Monday, probably about Thursday, you probably got him in the bag. He ready to, you know, really get saved to your ministry of love, you know, to really give his life to your tabernacle. You feel what I'm saying? By being divine. Purest love that he's getting right now. Okay? Sunday pumps up. He goes to church. All that shit you was just talking. Blah, blah, blah. Satan's work. That's. Whoever tell you that is crazy. They're not, you know, in tune with what you're in tune to, whatever. All that shit gets balled up, scrapped, thrown in the garbage. Okay? Aside from the religious aspect of the situation, which plays a big part. Religion plays a big part in this twin flame journey because it's looked at as what I'm looked at doing. I use freaking playing cards. People say I'm doing tarot and sorcery and all that. You know what I mean? No, it's nothing like that. I just analyze and I just got an ingenious way of looking at things and it just works. Which to me is just a... I look at this as like a, a opening in the universe that I just happen that I can tap into. Okay, and I'm just feeding y'all the feedback that I'm getting from this. This is something I want to share. Okay, that's just a religious fact. Now, let's go to his social scene, his friends, his goons, his idiots, you know what I'm saying? His crooners, who are all about, this is just like me. I'm going to use me an example on this one. My twin told me a long, long time ago, leave them homies alone. I'm like, I ain't got no homies. I kick it with you, and I kick it with my other young partner, and it's like, Shit, other than, you know, females, you know, other than, fe other than the females, you know, I don't do too much. So these people you say I'd be kicking away, hanging with and all that, when in reality, yeah, I was, phone was blowing up more, I was spending more money, I had everything for everybody, I was like the life of the party everywhere I went, because I was just trying to show love and all this, you know, goofy shit. Plus I was rapping and just caught up, you know what I mean, didn't even know. So it's like, I was programmed once. Okay, we all are still programmed to this day. Every day we are deprogramming ourselves. But back to your masculine, because I know Zach the type of friends he's got. Because I'm a guy at the end of the day. Okay, I'm on the bitches. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm about. I mean, I don't really know what the fuck else it's about out here. You know what I mean? Other than the whole, I mean, other than the females. You know what I'm saying? But that's me. You feel what I'm saying? Masculine, right? He's getting fed that these feelings that he's had for you. He probably coming to his homies. Yo, man, I really love. You know, I love this girl who love. Like, boy, what's, what you want? You know what I'm saying? Like, they're programming him with this MOB shit, money over bitches shit, this love doesn't exist shit. You know what I mean? The people that's close to him, too. They were going to get on a family level. That's if their family even gravitates toward you. That's if they even like you. That's if they even deal with you. That's even if they, and then going back to religion, you know what I mean? Even prove of what you are. Coming to their baby who they don't even know the type of beast or demon that they're dealing with. But such is life. Religion. Church aspect coming at him. Social circle. Programming him. Coming at him with a barrage of bullshit that's depleting away the shit that you bring to him. Because at the end of the day, don't nobody pretty much love him. Other than his family and his kids. We're not going to take that. We would never take that away from him. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? You're the only one really giving him pure, unconditional love. Doing things from the pureness of your heart. Not for a favor, not for no get backs, not for nothing. It's every everything you do is done unconditionally. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like it's not like you're being bogus. It's not like you are at fault half the time. Now, you do trigger him and he triggers you, so you are at fault in some ways. But we're talking about the unconditional love part. Right now. That's pure. But it's getting knocked by churches. It's getting knocked by social circles. It's getting knocked by what he sees on TV. And this is my last part. And I'm going to wrap it up and get to my last one. My last point shortly. Programming on TV. Music. I mean. It's not like they playing uh, Barry White. You know what I'm saying? Or Commodores. No, my motherfucking dudes right there. You know what I'm saying? OJs. You feel me? It ain't like they bumping... Anita Baker. It ain't like they bumping Sade. It ain't like they bumping Simply Red. It ain't like they bumping Jean A. It ain't like they bumping good music anymore. Music. The frequency of the music. This is literally bombarding, taking away 
it's like erosion. It's eroding everything you're dropping on him. All the goodness that you're putting into him gets depleted every single day. So by the time the new week kick in, of course it's new energies. Of course he on some other shit. Of course he acting another way. It's life. You know what I mean? So going back to the other rant that I wanted to get on was he ignited you. That's what happened. Yes, he was divine when you met him. You're, you're masculine or you're divine. Either way, switch them reverses or, you know, you know how that roll. Okay? even You are advanced now. You were advanced then even before meeting him. But when you met him, you, 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 you evolved as fast as he's going to evolve when he gets it. He get, he's getting it, but he doesn't get, get it. And when he gets get it, the same evolution you just went through, Divine Feminine, he's going to go through the same shit, but he's going to go through it faster. Now, let's think about that. I'm going to say this rant. Please, you know, I know I was just talking about God and church like that, but let's keep it real here. I'm just ranting, and you know how I get down, all right? We just, this is words here. I'm just, okay, it doesn't matter. With freaking rap, present rap, this gift come in. But just take this gift, you know what I'm saying? And the gift is the message. It don't matter what freaking rap it comes in. I'm going to say this, okay? Listen, this whole journey, you have to help your divine masculine. He needs your help. He needs your assistance. He would do the same for you if you were him. <laughs> but he ignited you, and you got to give him this, okay? Upon meeting him, you evolved, all right? Upon meeting him, things got shaky. That's when shit went like this. Okay. Before it was this. Clear picture. Right? Puppy love phase. Oh my God, I met the one. Woo woo woo. Scared to talk. Just that and third. One shot click. Boom. Energy started to switch. That's the journey. Okay. So he basically lit. All he did was light a flame to you, burned you up. Destroys you and like a phoenix, you rose from those ashes and became a new person. That's all this is. Okay, but he's being your divine masculine or feminine, whoever, whoever you're dealing with, they're being programmed. So you got to go in and get them. It's really the matrix. Trinity was on business coming up on, 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 on Neo the first time, like in person. Like, really, she came at the man on business. If you ain't seen the matrix, Please watch the movie. Look how Trinity came on Neo the first time she seen him in person, bruh, in the club. Peep her demeanor. Peep how serious she was. Peep how focused she was. Peep her delivery. You see how y'all mess with me because of my delivery? Peep Trinity delivery the way she came at him. She came at him like the Lucy Lou card, which is how you need to come at your divine masculine. Quick, fast, boom, boom, boom. So he's listening like, so he's, okay, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever you retains, he retains. If he doesn't get it, he don't get it. You ain't got to repeat yourself. It is what it is. Keep it moving. I'm going to keep this running at 15, and I'm going to definitely keep it pushing. Because I got videos to do. <laughs> got readings to do, and I got, you know, got to get ready for sleep and wake up and do this all over tomorrow. But look, saying all that to say this. It don't matter what religion... Religious people say it doesn't matter what anybody says. You know, all that matters in your life is what you think, what you feel, and what you want to make happen. Say this, and I'm gonna shut the fuck up. You got the two of wands and the three of wands in my deck. The way I do my thing, right? Two of wands is just stability. Somebody has to stabilize this union. The four of wands, two, three, or four. Okay, two of wands. Somebody got to stabilize this union. Which is usually the divine masculine's role. Just think of it like he just goes to work, pays the bills, and just really wants to sit and watch fucking football and doesn't want to pay his taxes on some Jack Arnold Wonder Year shit. But he's cool and content with what's going on. He's just the stabilizer, right? And the divine feminine, three, Trinity, higher power, you feel me? She's the one making the moves. She's the one with the plug, plugging him up when he needs some juice when he's down. Get him up so he can stay, do what he does, stabilize. Manifest and stabilize. That's his role. Your role is to go out here and create. 
Create the situation, create this home, create this environment, create the role, create the mission, create the business, create everything to get the ball rolling to where it needs to be. Because your stabilizer is going to be good as long as he's out here doing his job with the stabilizer. You're going to be good as long as you take the lead, do what you're supposed to do. You were born to this. From the time you guys were born to the shit you guys went through to the time you met to the time of right now, every thought, action, decision, phone call, text, conversation, physical act, all that, it crescendos to this moment. This is the year of the union, 218. Get it. It's a chess game, chess move. Play your, make the next move your best move. Divine feminines and divine masculines do the same. Y'all need to man up, grow up, step up. Like I say, it's love. At the end of the day, we ain't talking about you, Divine Masculine. We're actually just loving you. And that's all I really want to say. Deuces.